Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. We're going to start off with Tropical Storm Brett, which has strengthened some today. The top winds are now at 65 miles per hour, and it is moving toward the west. Uh, we have the islands of Martinique, St. Lucia, uh, Dominica, and also uh, Barbados under tropical storm warnings. Uh, at the moment, and uh, the uh, track from the Hurricane Center, keeping it as a tropical storm, it's probably not going to strengthen much more since fairly soon it should start to encounter stronger upper level winds, which is going to uh, eventually weaken the system, we think. Uh, but uh, the track would take it over the island sometime late, th later Thursday afternoon. Uh, into early Friday morning and then into, into the Caribbean. Much of the model guidance showing this uh, becoming an o weakening to an open trough uh, by the time uh, we get to Saturday. But for now, uh, it's a fairly well-defined tropical storm. The Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft uh, did find uh, winds of up to uh, 65 miles an hour. Uh, there is a concentration of convection near the center. There's not a whole lot on the west side. Most of it is on the east side. And as you can see on this floater loop, uh, the islands start to come into uh, onto the screen. Uh, this is where these types of loops, that's where the storm is at the center of the picture and the latitude and longitude uh, moves. So that's why it might kind of look a little odd in terms of, of the motion. But uh, Brett is not going to be a threat to the United States, and it is very likely going to weaken when it gets over into the Caribbean. Meanwhile, we have an onshore flow here in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states. There's a stalled frontal boundary uh, in the Carolinas, uh, snaking down through Georgia and into Alabama. Uh, this is all due to that large upper low that's just been sitting here in the Tennessee Valley for the last couple of days, uh, generating bands of downpours and thunderstorms, and some of that rain has moved northward. Here's the wide satellite view. Uh, the clouds have actually cut off a bit just north of New York City today. Uh, the high is trying is pressing down, and it's slowing the northward progression of rain, which has reached uh, southern New Jersey and southern Pennsylvania and points southward. And then you also can see the lightning strikes here that are going on in the Carolinas this evening, in the eastern Carolinas, and back down through Georgia and over into the uh, Florida panhandle. The uh, close-up view of the northeast, you can see uh, across northern New Jersey, Long Island, and up into southern and central New England and upstate New York, a few clouds, but wasn't really a bad day at all, but then the heavy overcast uh, central New Jersey southward down uh, into Virginia and North Carolina, except for right along the immediate coast. Uh, the radar this evening showing some rain. Much of what's being uh, what's on the radar is either light or not reaching the ground uh, across New Jersey, central and southern New Jersey, southeastern Pennsylvania, down into Delaware and Maryland. You start to get into some heavier showers particularly in parts of northwestern Virginia and in West Virginia. And then you get into the heavy downpours and thunderstorms uh, that are uh, all around the southeastern part of the United States. And you can see that the echoes back in Kentucky and Tennessee are actually moving northeast to southwest, while the echoes across Georgia and uh, South Carolina are moving more south to north. So that tells you that there's an upper air circulation. We've got a few flash flood warnings that are popping up because rain is really going to be the big deal out of this. And uh, we've got a bunch of special marine warnings at the moment uh, in uh, Florida. Uh, a few showers and storms scattered throughout the plains and up into the northern Rockies, at least for now. The Storm Prediction Center has enhanced risk of severe weather tonight in uh, central and west Texas, also in northeast Colorado. Uh, up into southeastern Wyoming and western Nebraska, marginal risk over Florida. This uh, area in the plains, uh, various uh, 2 to 5 percent tornado risks being indicated both in Texas and Oklahoma, and western Oklahoma, and also in that zone in northeastern Colorado, southeastern Wyoming, and western Nebraska. Now, rainfall, uh, this is going to be... Um, a long stretch that we're going to, ha going to have along the East Coast with uh, downpours and thunderstorms. And uh, the uh, uh, folks at WPC showing uh, two and a half to three inches or more of rain for central and eastern Pennsylvania, much of New Jersey, 
uh, across New York City into southern New England, uh, at least an inch and a half to some pockets of two and a half inch amounts in upstate New York and in northern New England. Virginia on southward, it's mostly an inch and a half to, again, some pockets of two and a half inches plus. But remember that a lot of this area in the southeast has been getting rain for the last few days. So this is on top of uh, several inches of rain that's, that has already fallen. And this is a seven-day forecast. doesn't necessarily mean it rains over the next seven days. Uh, the, but certainly, I think, as we move through the weekend and into early next week, we're going to have to deal with this. And we also have significant rains for the northern plains back up into Montana. So uh, the high uh, is giving way. The upper low will slowly begin to move to the northeast, and that's going to push uh, rain up the coast tonight into tomorrow. Uh, you see uh, areas of rain there uh, for southern New England, uh, the Hudson Valley uh, down south to uh, coastal uh, Delmarva, into the Carolinas, and back through Georgia. You uh, can also see the shape. It's got that comma shape. So that tells you that there's an upper low involved. And uh, it doesn't rain continuously. This is all going to come in bands. So there'll be some breaks in between. And then on uh, Friday, we have more rain and uh, th downpours and thunderstorms to deal with. Uh, they'll hang around into Saturday and fire up again Saturday afternoon and evening. Uh, the trough starts to shift a little bit to the east on Sunday, so not so much uh, weather-wise in the southeast, but in the uh, northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, probably some downpours and a few thunderstorms. Then we have a cold front that's going to approach on Monday with some showers and thunderstorms uh, likely, and there might even be some severe weather with this when that front approaches. And uh, then that moves out, and then the upper trough swings in with a chance for more showers along about Tuesday. Uh, the GFS is also on the lower right picking up on a tropical system that's not Brett. That's the tropical wave behind it. We're going to talk about that and we'll talk about Brett and everything else that's going on on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, which tonight is at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So uh, mark that down. Usually we're at 735, but tonight starting time is going to be 8 p.m. Eastern time. So we will see you then. Have a great evening.